Hello friends. I want to show you what I'm gonna make now. It is actually called Square City. So I had this, it was a charm pack and I had the matching jelly roll. So I'm gonna use it. And I have the jelly roll I am cutting to, I'm gonna cut off the salvage here. So I just line up the one line and I am going to use the rotary cutter and the mat for this. But you could use um, the cardboard from my previous video, that technique, if you don't have that yet. You just, and then I'm going to, I turned it around, I'm sorry, I turned it around, and then I'm going to line up for five inches. Right there, I line it up on this edge and along the bottom, so I know it's five inches and if you didn't know jelly rolls are two and a half so then I'm going to cut four of these let's go ahead and line it up I need a new blade but I haven't felt like doing it since I about chopped my finger off And one more. So I'm making the pattern a little bit bigger than what it is in the book. And I'll show you what book it's in. Oh, I need a new blade. So it is in Quilt Makers. It says Quilt Makers 1000 Blocks. It's in this one. I bought it because I new to this and I want to try a bunch of different things but I am also trying to make it a different size so then I'm going to take these blocks and these are five inches but I need them to be four and a half but I have a lot of them here so I'm going to go ahead and trim that out I'll show you how I'm going to do it on one and then I'll be back to I'll do them all and then I'll come back so I'm actually going to I don't really like the pinked edges, so I'm going to trim it off on all four sides. So I really want to go to about four and a quarter on both sides. Line it up down here at four and a quarter and over here, and I'm going to trim off those. And I actually keep all these scraps because I don't like to waste anything, and then I will use it in as filler in a pillow. And then I've used every bit of fabric I have. So then I'm gonna turn it around and now I'm gonna line it up right at four and a half on all, or on these two sides. So right there's four and a half and it comes down here to this little point. I'm not even on screen, I apologize. It comes down here to this little point. So four and a half there and four and a half here. And then the point will line up right there on the corner. So then I'll trim that. I have to make two cuts because, like I said, I need a new blade. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all those. And then I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay. So I've taken my long strips and I've sewn them together in pairs of two. And I paired them up all differently. I got one with each set of fabric. Each, yeah, each color of fabric. So then we're going to take those and I ironed it open and we're going to line this up. We're going to cut these straight in half and these are, if you measure it, it will measure to five inches. So then we're going to just go to half. So you're going to take the two and a half line and line it up right there. And then make sure this is straight down here and you're just going to cut that right in half. All right. And then we're going to take them and make them opposite. And since it was the same piece, so the the seam was ironed to the same way, they're going to line up perfectly because you're going to make them opposite. So you're going to line up the seam. And we're going to pin it. And I pin down here so I can leave it in when I'm sewing. And then we're going to pin at the bottom and at the top. And I'm going to run a quarter inch seam allowance down that and I'll be right back. Once I'm back, I've done that. I'm going to set the seam there and then 
iron it open and it lined up beautifully do you see that I'm so proud of that it's not completely perfect but I'm proud of it so we're gonna lay that down now we're gonna trim it to the four and a half that these blocks are see if you lay that there it's just pretty much just needs the blue trimmed off on both sides so that's what we're gonna do We're going to line it up to the top and over. We are going to just trim that off. See how the four and a half is lined up down here and lined up going up through here and the two and a half and two and a quarter. I'm sorry, because half of that is two and a quarter. So that dot is going to be lined up right in the middle right there so we're just going to trim that off and then we'll flip it around and we'll do the same we'll line up the four and a half down here and up this side and across that side and we're going to trim it off All right, then I will be right back. Got that guy's my husband. I heard him coming into the room, so I had to pause it. So we're just gonna take all of those. They all need to look like this. So we're just gonna iron them all flat and make them all look like that. And then we'll be back to show you the next step and how to put it together to form our block. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will see you all in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I only did a few of them. Here's what I've done. I'll show you. So this is part of our block. I apologize. My space is not really all that big for videotaping. But I took off. Uh, you're going to need four of two different fabrics of your big squares, your four and a half inch squares. I chose these two. So then I took all of the ones that didn't have these colors on it. And I them out I want to lay them out and this is actually just in random spots it doesn't really matter because it's all different anyway so you're just gonna lay them out random places for Your rest of your block we'll turn that one off. so then we're gonna sew these together so for actual one block you need eight squares that are four and a half by four and a half and I chose and you're gonna need two different fabrics so you're gonna need four of one and four of the other and then for this block you're gonna need eight of these also just random ones and you don't actually have to make these match. I guess I could have done four different squares in here. I just chose to do the same because I thought I like I like the look of it. So then you're going to sew these two together just like that and that and that and that. And while I'm at it, I'm actually going to go ahead and sew this one together too because I like to chain piece. So then I'll have two halves of my block chain together so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'll come back and show you what it looks like okay i've done it so I've, I've cut them apart though into four and i'm gonna iron these and i'm gonna fold the seam towards the four and a half inch block the solid block not the pieced block because i want to have less seam, as le little uh, bulk as possible. Okay, so there's one set. I will be cutting these apart. I did it this way because it was easier to hold one to. And 
and then we'll line them back up and sew these two together. These two, these four rows. I'll sew them together. And then we'll, um, yeah, sew them into rows. And then I'll sew all the rows in, together and we'll make the big block. So now I am going to cut these apart. And then we're going to lay it back out into our block. And we started with that. And then, how did we do this? Give me a minute. I'll figure it out. Don't you worry. There we go. This one's down here and this one's here. So now you can look again at it. Make sure you have your little blocks where you want them if you have a pattern for it. I don't really have a pattern. I just kind of threw them on there because, well, you know, whatever. So then I'm just going to fold these over. And I'm going to sew these strips together and then I'll iron them out and then we'll sew our rows together. So after I sew these, I'll be back to the with the ironing part and I'll show you how to do the next step. All right, I've done that. Actually, I already cut them apart. I'm going to lay them all out with the flat side up. So when I iron them, I can just, the flat side, the solid block, I mean, just press it to the side. That one got bent a little. So then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to lay it back out, which will be this one at the bottom. We're going to do this one at the top, followed by this one and this one. So then I am just going to fold this one over and sew those two together and then these two together. And then we'll sew the middle pieces together. This one we will line up the seams. We'll line up the seams on these rows before we sew them. And then we will do the same on the other end. And then we will do the same when we sew them together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get them sewn up. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. I did it all. I hooked it all together. I do have to square it up. But there you have it, Square City. You have those two and those two and then your other ones in between. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video.